Hi guys, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back finally with a project share. I am getting ready to send off my outgoing group swap, Halloween swap uh, that Tony, who, who is Craft Purchase hosting on her Instagram page. And I'm super excited to show you what I've created. I've been kind of missing um, paper crafting and definitely Halloween is totally my jam. So with the new Prima 31 collection, I was able to create some fun items. Now her requirements were a sequence mix, a bow, a um, an embellishment, a store-bought or handmade goodie, and just to create some pretty packaging. So um, it's supposed to be loaded tag but I kind of wanted to go a different route and I had created these adorable little mini suitcases and this is a Lori Whitlock file that I did with the garden party collection and I knew I wanted to create this again so um it was just a fun little kind of way to send off all the goodies in these little storage suitcase and I love how this came out I did stitch every single panel right um, and I made Tony's in orange and black just because I wanted hers to be a little bit more special I did use that new um, Joann's trim that everyone's been hauling it's so pretty and of course Tony enabled me I just created this little embellishment for the little topper and I have a little dangle of a little wire wrapped um, pumpkin face jack-o-lantern and a dangly spider I have been obsessed with silver so I did incorporate a lot of silver in this kind of uh, project I think it's just kind of been my vibe and I can't wait to use silver on Christmas so anyways silver is in for me right now and I can't wait to show you what else I created I did put Tony's name on her box although I couldn't do it for everyone because I'm not sure who I will be receiving but I'm just gonna open this up I have my favorite new um, velcro dots from Ally, and basically this little suitcase it opens up just like this so you have a spine and all the pockets which I thought were perfect for this um, project oh and there is one more item we needed to include die cuts so I'm just going to show you what everyone will be getting in my group swap here is my sequence mix I been loving incorporating the orange in this um, kind of the Halloween swap I think you know you can't do Halloween without orange and yeah this is my mix super fun I love that the, these pockets it kind of made me stick to smaller embellishments even though this is chunky and I already um, am worried that <laughs> that um, this is gonna be too big to send but I included the new Target stickers the puffy stickers I thought this was a fun little store bought I will also be sending some sweet treats along with my swap here is my bow I'm just gonna take this one out And I used a new alley bow that I just recently hauled and I put this on um, some um, cut aparts from the new Prima 31 collection I figured they could use it if they wanted to so basically I have this darling orange um, glitter uh, felt I don't know if it's felt but I did buy this from Allie and I totally been wanting to use it I thought this was a perfect collection I use that really pretty lacy black as the tails because I wanted to incorporate kind of different textures and then I have this fun haunted house charm that I got from Allie and these little I don't know if they're flowers but they kind of remind me of little pumpkins so I incorporated a wire wrap and I love how these came out let me see what else I have in here and then I will be slipping in my embellishment which I'll be showing you shortly and here is my pack of die cuts been loving the green as well I've been loving the green the orange and it's totally silver so there's a lot of fun little different die cuts in here and I did include some ephemera pieces that I had in my stash that I wanted to share to whoever receives it so that is this I will put that other thing away and here are the rest of them I did make them slightly different um, I used the pink spider web paper that is in the 31 collection um, I think I wanted to create 
one special one for Tony and then one um, pretty much similar to the everyone else. Again, with the same kind of wire wrap concept over here, I did include an eyelet, a black eyelet. And then here I have, I layered all of the toppers with the new um, KS Craft word dies. I just prepared them on my favorite black glitter paper from Michaels. I'm obsessed with it. I probably used half a pack already on this project alone. And they were perfect because I just layered them up with purple um, glitter paper and then just stitched it down the middle. Again, using that Joann's, um, I don't know if this is tool, but this kind of web. And then I included some of these Michael stickers, yes to the silver and some Hobby Lobby jemmies, and then just a little ephemera piece peeking out from the side. For the little banner pieces, I did spray all of them with my also newest or current obsession, which is this Nouveau Silver Mica Mist. And if you can kind of see, it has a sheen to it. And I just kind of love that more vintage finish to them. Here is the next one. Again, super fun super creepy totally an exciting little piece oh here's the handle again i use that silver smoke uh is it silver smoke silver let me see silver smoke yes nouveau spray and i just took it to black cardstock and look just at the texture that it gives the plain 110 pound cardstock i think it just gives it that little simple um i don't know edge right so here's another one. It's a spooky, again, with the ghosty ephemera pieces from the 31 collection. I love this little spider charm. And these are pretty much all the same. I'm going to just show you the embellishments. I had shown these cauldron, which is cauldron, on my Instagram. And I totally had to recreate, um, not recreate, well, Tony totally inspired me she not only enabled me she inspired me so i totally recreated her uh version um but i used paper i had in my stash this green is some fun glitter paper that i had again that green has been like really hitting for me this is some mylar acetate paper that i use for the smoke and then i use some of the tim holtz bubbles because I thought this was like a fun little accent piece. I have a little banner. Um, I use some Tim Holtz word stickers, just happy Halloween. I have an eyelet here and a fun little dangle, wire wrap dangle that I have on all. I did take this nesting die that I was gifted by Alicia and she had sent this to me in some old mail and Halloween mail and again silver mist it really turned this little bag topper into some really fun kind of creepy um, texture and I just did a lot of layering you guys I took a orange doily I have a little folded pleated banner I have uh, a silver star that you can barely see doing a peekaboo. I have a circle that I embossed in some like texture. You can kind of see that peekaboo on the bottom. Um, I have some candy corn ribbon that I turned into a banner and then I just cut this silver paper and then you know um, just stuck a little word sentiment from Tim Holtz line and then I just punched an eyelid on the side put a little dangle and this is how this little bag topper became so thick and chunky and now i have to figure how to squeeze this in into this little suitcase but i am happy with what i created i hope whoever receives my happy mail is pleasantly thrilled and spookified <laughs> by my mail and i hope you found inspiration thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone